Hello all, welcome to eDrawMax. In today's video, we'll learn how to study smarter with diagrams. Most children have vivid imaginations, and they have no difficulty in visualizing scenes and characters. In fact, diagrams are more popular than text when presenting certain types of information, particularly dense information. Diagrams, concept maps, infographics, report cards, schedules, etc have helped teachers to grab the attention of students in the virtual environment. In this video, we'll look at some diagramming tools to help students study smarter, and teachers can use these as teaching tools to enrich their classrooms. The following diagram templates are designed using eDraw Max. There are tons of free, editable templates to customize these tables and charts to fit your needs. Let's begin with a back-to-school checklist. Back to school is a reference to the fact that most schools are in session for two main semesters, fall and spring, and the majority of students take a summer vacation. This checklist diagram illustrates a back to school checklist, which includes school uniform, pencil case, fresh pens, notebooks, calculator, face mask, sharpener, water bottle, 2021 planner, pencils, tissues, rubber eraser, lunchbox, hat, and others. Now let's look at a class schedule template. Making a good class schedule is a really important step in the studying process as it helps you stay organized, reduces stress, and helps you keep track of what you've done. It should be noted here that effective scheduling is about making sure that you identify your most important task for each day and that you get that task completed. You should also identify the next couple of tasks in order of importance. Now let's look at a lesson plan template. Weekly lesson plans can be categorized by subject so that teachers can have a better understanding of the weekly subjects like science, mathematics, literature, social science, physical education, and arts. This weekly lesson plan template offers blank space where teachers can write down their assessment reports. Now let's look at a graphic organizer template. The graphic organizer examples are usually helpful for students, which act as strategic tools for visual learning. These are usually applied across different curriculum and enhance learning as well as understanding of a certain subject matter or content. Teachers can make use of graphic organizers to illustrate knowledge of a section in a text or a topic, also showcasing which areas one needs to improve. There are several forms of graphic organizers such as mind maps, concept maps, and webs like spider maps. Let's look at the idea web template now. The idea web pattern helps students organize concepts or ideas. They're great for word mapping as well as brainstorming story ideas. Write a topic in the center circle and details in the smaller circles. Add new circles as needed. For example, the following word web diagram shows different symbols of the word drawing. As shown here, words that describe drawing are striped, crumpled, wavy, smudge, jagged, and others. You can brainstorm and expand more for this word. Now let's look at a concept map template. A visual organizer can enrich students' understanding of a new concept. Students think about the concept in several ways. Most concept maps or diagrams engage students in answering questions such as what is it, what is it like, and what are some examples. When students visualize concepts through diagrams or concept maps, it helps them better understand the concept, making it easier for them to memorize and remember for a longer time. Now we'll look at a science diagram template. Science diagrams carry a much different utility than imaginative or hypothetical artwork. While all forms of drawings and illustrations carry some kind of visual representation, that may be of an idea, message, or information. However, scientific diagrams are all about factual details, recreating images of reality. eDraw Max has a science diagram category where you can draw any type of diagram, irrespective of subjects, as shown, to visualize your ideas. Now let's look at an infographic template. An infographic is a collection of imagery, charts, and minimal text that gives an easy-to-understand overview of a topic. eDrawMax also has an infographics diagram category where you can utilize the readily available symbols related to various fields to create your own diagram. Now let's look at a presentation template. Presentations are a great way to have students practice all language areas, vocabulary, grammar, discourse, and phonology, and skills, speaking, reading, writing, and listening. They also build confidence, and presenting is a skill that most people will need in the world of work. eDraw Max has a presentation category where you can create your own presentation templates or use readily available templates from the template gallery. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDraw Max videos. 
please find the link in the description below to try eDrawMax online or to download the software.